Good day, good evening, good morning, good night, uh, whatever time it is for you. Um, welcome back. I hope you've been very, very well. We've actually got a few dragons to hatch today, which we don't always have a lot of dragons to hatch these days, especially, um, you know, this current Featherfall event, I've not been here, so I'm not even going to talk about that one. But anyway, to start off with, I want to hatch a beautiful little avalanche boy from the previous castle event that we had because he is just adorable and I like him a lot. So hitching a ride on the avalanche dragon's naturally snowy back is not advised unless you want an absolute face full of flurry. I want, I want a flurry. Please, can I have a flurry? Either way, he's an earth, water and shadow dragon. And again, he was the reward for getting him out of the chest in the event. And he was the one that took the longest for us to get because of our key luck being so, so bad. But at least we did get both of the dragons out of that event, which is something. Because again, this, this Featherfall event that's going on right now, the solo event, I like the fact that there's so many rewards, but the requirements for the current solo event are stupid because of the pool cooldowns. I thought we'd learnt better than this with DML, but apparently not. But either way, look at little Avalanche. He's all feathery, he's like full of furry stuff, and then he's got an... I don't know, it's almost like a gigantic ice cube on his head. He's got trees on it. He's got everything. He's got everything that you could ever want. And then the other dragon that we got from the event was indeed a legendary, which is this guy here. It's kind of a creepy looking egg. But this is the legendary cherry ice dragon. So that would be legendary fire and a metal boy. So the cherry ice dragon is named for its striking colour, not for its flavour. This trainer realises this is a common misconception. Seriously, do not attempt to lick the cherry ice dragon. You know, when you say it like that, it really intrigues me and makes me want to lick it. You know, as soon as someone says, don't do that, it's like, Aah. you kind of make me want to do it now. Maybe that's just me. But either way, legendary and fire and metal. Not a bad little combo of elements, I suppose. Could always be worse. Um, I mean, having metal and fire together is a little bit weird. Because one's more defensive, kind of. One's very, very aggressive in, in terms of the fire itself. And my goodness, I can barely see you in this habitat. Blends in so very well. I don't know, it's all the purple is, you know? They just sort of all blend in can barely even see the dragon, for goodness sake. Anyway, again, I always level them up to level 20 for the dragon collector points. You can level them up less or a little bit more. Whatever you want to do for any new dragons you get, but I'll take the extra DCPs for it. But look at this guy. He just looks... He's got that body type that some of those big, bulky, terrifying dragons have. He just looks scary. I like it, but I still want to lick him. I want to lick him very much. He looks pretty good in that habitat though, not gonna lie. So then the other dragon that we've got to hatch today is of course Twilight, which is part of the Zodiac collection stuff. Little Twilight here, look at her sparkling. Oh, little sparkly girl. The Twilight dragon sparkles with joy when it sees light and darkness. Two old friends embrace at the end of the day. Isn't that what we all want, to embrace old friends? Just trying to think so. I'll embrace all new and old friends. It doesn't matter if you're an old friend or a new one. I'll embrace you. I'll embrace you. Anyway, light, energy, and void. Probably not an epic that you'd ever use. Uh, Twilight is definitely more so a dragon that is just part of this Zodiac Dragon Collection overarching thing. And it looks like um, it's a bit broken. But either way, Cute little baby. Cute little baby. It reminds me of like the pixie dragon baby because of the body type and they do the little hoppy thing, but I like the little effects. I like the little sparkly effects that are coming off of her. Very, very pretty little girl. So again, we'll get them up to level 20. All of them. And do we actually have any more dragons to hatch? I don't I don't remember. We might have one somewhere in our inventory, but I don't remember what it is. But either way. Those are our three new dragons today. So not one, not two, but three new dragons to add to the collection. Again, give me that DCP. We'll get Pinata one day. No, we won't. 
That's never gonna happen. Not not until I start spending stupid amounts of money, and I'm I'm too stingy for that. What's the problem? I think I'm too stingy for DML. It's very sad. It's very sad indeed. Yeah, I'm still on tier 8, by the way. Like I said, I've not been here a few days. At the very least, we can get to tier 10, get snuggled. That's That shouldn't be an issue. But I'm not going to get my beautiful asteroid boy. And that is purely because this game has awful timers on this event. It's just the way that it is. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to ruin any of my other Christmassy, timey stuff trying to do this. So screw you, game is literally how I went about it. We could get another polar bear if we wanted to. Don't really know why we would want to, but you know, there's another option for us if we wanted to. We've also got the Walmart, of course, because we got this yesterday with it being a Friday. We got some interesting deals, divine mats for 125. That's been made more expensive. Five relics of breeding for 99 gems, maybe 99 gems for legendary mats, eh. And then sleds and festive habitats. I'd take a festive habitat. Always take a festive habitat because they never ever release these things. Because a festive habitat, in case you don't know, is the same as a legendary habitat, but it just has a different design. Look at it. Look at how pretty it is. So I highly recommend if you buy nothing else out of this pretty underwhelming Walmart, you buy that festive habitat. But anyway. That is the new stuff that we got with it being a Friday, and of course we've got the weekend events as well, which I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll participate in those, because why not? We also do have the information on what some of the upcoming events are going to be in the next week, if you have not seen these already. So we've got a boss challenge event coming, yay! God, I want to die! And then we've got a bottomless dungeon with the Shinnaman, Shinnaman dragon in it. We've got the piggy bank coming back, which is another excuse for people to waste their money. I, I hate this thing. It's not an event. Stop listing it as an event. It's not. Uh, gem spending event, again, it's not really an event. Stop listing it as such. We've got clan gifting, which is going to be actually quite nice. And a great dragon race. Nothing too spectacular coming after the January period. And we've also got the woolly dragon as the dragon of the week. I can or by pairing together Smoke and Mercury dragons, if you want to know that. Of course, we've got the Aquarius dragon coming on January the 1st as well. And uh, apart from that, nothing else really to note, apart from the fact that in the Bottomless Dungeon, you can also get the Ace dragon, and apparently the Snow Queen dragon again, which I thought we had her last week, but apparently she's going to be in there again. So that is what Adam has posted for us. This is the, the whole shebang. If you need to... Pause it, just so that you can read all of it, go ahead, but it's nothing too spectacularly enticing. Apart from the fact that we're going to have a boss challenge event, so you know, if you're tired of these really short, annoying timers from the solo event, well, you've got every two hours to be logging in again next week. Yay! I'm, I'm probably not going to do it, to be honest. Um... Again, I don't know why we're straying away from like the six hour plus cooldowns and we're now going lower and lower and lower. I mean, I get it for the solo event, right? They make the prices of skipping quite cheap so that then it's really, really enticing to skip and they make the pulls incredibly frustrating so that then you really want to skip it. I get that. I get why they're doing But should they be doing it? No. No is the answer. And you know, some people are like, yeah, well, I don't really celebrate Christmas. It's like, well, that's that's fine, that's fine. I mean, it's not like I'm a Christmas freak either. It's just people tend to have things on every so often in their lives, whether it's Christmas or not. And having a pool of one, which I think is in one of the tiers, is just... It's not okay. It's not okay. We should not be dealing with a pool of one. We shouldn't be dealing with pool timers of three on tier A either, considering there's another 12 tiers. But whatever, that's just me. I guess I'll keep complaining until the end of time. Because I'm never going to get the answer that I want for this game. It's clear that this game is going in a very, very distinct direction that I disagree with. Which is very, very depressing. Maybe we don't have a new dragon in here. I don't know. We've got so much crap in our inventory, I kind of just want to get rid of it, just so that it looks a bit more nice. Can we not order this? 
You see, we've got epics and then rares and then legendaries and divines randomly in here. Can we, can we not order this properly? In like a way that we want to order this? Whatever. That's just a minor gripe. That's not something major. I'd like to fix the events first before we complain about the ordering of inventory dragons, but... Anyway. That's probably going to do me for now. So, along with that, of course, we're getting random bundle deals for, like, VIP tickets and things like that. We've got a Horn Dragon bundle at the moment, which, if you want him for, like, £8.50, go ahead and get him. But, nothing too spectacular on the whole shop front. But do be on the lookout for these clam deals whenever the clam goes on sale. If you're going to buy anything in DML, buy the clam when it's on sale. Just wait out the days and get a ton of value out of it. Instead of, don't ever buy these gem packs outright. They're so bad. You're basically burning your own money if you buy those. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, for now, I hope you've been having fun. It's gonna be New Year soon. I don't know when I'm gonna be back or what I'm gonna be doing. So for the meantime, enjoy yourself. I hope you get many beautiful dragons, even out of this terrible solo event. Um, but apart from that, have fun. And I hope to see you again.